Let's work on implicit differentiation and for our first function let's uh, differentiate 2y equals x squared plus sine y. Let's go ahead and take the derivative of each term d dx of 2y equal to d dx of x squared d dx of sine y. So the derivative of 2y with respect to x would be a uh, power rule which is just 2 but this time we'll use dy dx because we're differentiating in terms of x the second term we don't have a problem with that because it's just simply 2x and uh, we don't need to put a dy dx or dx over dx for this one and for the third term since we are working with a function of y we'll use the implicit differentiation again the deriv derivative of sine y is cosine y so we have cosine y times the derivative of the inside which is y so using the chain rule we'll simplify this in a little while so here we have 2 dy dx equal to 2x plus cosine y dy dx so what we're going to do now is we're going to group the dy's, dy dx together and then the 2x will be left right here. So by subtracting cosine y dy dx on both sides, we'll end up with 2 dy dx minus cosine y dy dx equal to x and since we need to is isolate dy dx in our equation what we can do is factor out the dy dx and we'll end up with 2 minus cosine y dy dx equal to 2x and by dividing both sides by 2 cosine y 2 minus cosine y here. This cancels out and dy dx is equal to 2x all over 2 minus cosine y. And most of the times we also use y prime to denote um, the derivative of the function. So this is now our derivative using implicit differentiation. Now let's go ahead and work on the second example. So we have e to the xy plus x squared minus y squared. So we need to know the derivative rule for e to the u, which is e to the u du dx, and just power rule and the constant rule for the other terms. So So we'll end up with e to the u du dx, so we'll copy e to the xy and take the derivative of xy. And we'll do that later on because we're going to be using the product rule for this function. Plus, derivative of x squared is 2x minus, this time we'll have 2y dy dx equal to 0. So by using the power, I mean the product rule, let's copy e to the xy and take the derivative of xy with respect to x. And we will end up with, usually I just take the derivative of the first and copy the second, plus copy first derivative of the second which is dy dx and that's my product rule for xy and the rest of the function will have negative so by simplifying this I will distribute e to the xy to my function here so I can isolate later on dy dx in my equation. So I will end up with y times e to the xy plus 
x e to the x y dy dx plus 2x minus 2y dy dx to 0. So I know that I can group this together and I will transpose this two terms right here on the other side by the additive inverse so minus these terms so I'll have now let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these two terms right here by using the additive inverse and uh, the dy dx will stay on this side of the equation so we'll end up with x e to the x y dy dx minus 2y dy dx equal to y e to the x y minus 2x so we did that because we can subtract y e to the x y on both sides leaving us with negative y e to the x y right here and uh, subtracting 2x on both sides as well will leave us with negative 2x right here so um, now that we have isolated the dy dx let's just factor out the dy dx here so we can have dy dx by itself so we have x e to the x y minus 2y dy dx negative y e to the x y minus 2x and by dividing both sides by this term x e to the x y minus 2y and x e to the minus 2y so by cancelling this our dy dx will simply be this term right here so we'll end up with let's simplify this function right here into dy dx of negative y e to the x y minus 2x x e to the x y minus 2y which is also y prime in some notation so this is how we um, take the implicit differentiation for this particular function now for our third example let's take the derivative of x plus y squared equal to the cube root of x y so taking the derivative of each term So notice that I changed my cube root into one third, sorry, one third, so that I could apply the chain rule later on in taking the derivative of this term. So the derivative of x is simply one plus the derivative of y squared is two y dy dx equal to chain rule, so one over three xy and we know that one third minus one which is three all over three is simply negative two thirds so this is negative two over three for our exponent multiplied by the derivative of x y and in this case we'll use the product rule to find the derivative of x y so let's simplify our function so we'll have one plus 2y let's use y prime so that we'll have a shorter um, equation right here one third xy to the negative 2 over 3 multiplied by the derivative of this term right here so derivative of first copy plus copy derivative of y which is dy dx and this is now my product rule so what I'm going to do is to distribute this term right here to x dy dx and to my y so my equation will be changed into distribute this here so we have y 
one third xy negative 2 over 3 and distribute this to the other side right here which is x times one third times xy negative 2 thirds times dy dx all right so now that I have separated all my terms I have one two three four terms I know that I'm going to be grouping this and this on this side of the equation and my plan is to get rid of one right here and put it on the other side of my equation so my dy dx will be here so by subtracting this term on both sides I'll have 2y y prime minus x times one third xy negative two thirds y prime notice that I changed my dy dx to y prime and then minus one over here so I'll have y times one third xy negative two thirds minus one now all I need to do is to factor out my y prime so I will end up with 2y minus this whole term right here which is x one third xy to the negative two thirds and this one will have y prime as their common term or common factor equal to this one is y one third xy to the negative two thirds minus one so all I need to do is to isolate y prime by dividing it by this term right here I know it's quite large but uh, there's nothing else we could do about it because it's still going to be a huge um, solution even if we change this into uh, radical so let's just leave it as um, fractional exponent so our y prime is simply y times one third xy to the negative two thirds minus one all over two y minus x times one third x y to the negative two thirds which is also our dy dx And this is how we take the derivative of uh, x plus y squared equal to the cube root of xy using implicit differentiation.